This Stella person sure likes her llamas. You might say she likes them better than people. Classy mine shaft entrance. Didn't know they could look that nice. Ha, huh, yeah. Nothing's allowed in Champion City that doesn't look nice. Stella makes sure of it. That is one shiny skyscraper. Hey, the llama doing okay? Hard to tell. She seems really nervous. We should probably get her to Stella as soon as you're done looking around. Wow, even the flowers are organized. Yeah, and see the gardeners working on them? They all owe her stuff, too. Everyone in town owes Stella something. I think that's where she got most of the materials to build Champion City in the first place. Lots of little trades all add up after a while. Wait, the whole town? How? Yep. She's always finding little reasons that people's trades aren't enough. Making up new rules. Well, your sword is one trade Stella won't be getting out of. I'm going to make sure of it. I can't believe Stella built this whole city. Yeah, but it's all fake. Made by people she's tricked into doing it. I'm not even sure she even remembers how to build anymore. Oh, nice day. for everyone. No shoving now. We're not beacon towners. <laughs> You've probably put this together right now, but Stella's pretty fond of herself. I would play to her ego. Oh, well, that is a cute one. And he could be all yours. Provided you have the right payment, of course. Oh, she matches your outfit wonderfully. I know you think you like that one, but actually, I think this one is more for you, don't you think? That's right. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, Luna, my darling, you came home. You came back. Uh, Rodrigo, could you bring Luna home, please? There's a good girl. Stella. Oh, look who it is. Jesse, leader of Beacon Town and my sworn rival. I've never met her before, right? No. Our rivalry, Beacon Town versus Champion City. Surely you think about it as much as I do. Oh, boy. Yes, that's right, my rival. I'm... Finally here to meet face to face. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ah, I love the glove, by the way. Absolutely, darling. You wouldn't be interested in trading, would you? Got some fine puppies here. All free range, of course. 
That's not why we're here, Stella. We have other business. Oh, too bad. They're very cute puppies. And, you know, I heard you need new pets, so... Okay, hold it. Oh, Petra, you're here too. I almost thought Luna just came back on her own. What do I owe you? A puppy? No, that wasn't... A diamond, maybe? No, I... An emerald? <laughs> Don't push too hard now. That's... Ugh. Stop changing the deal around, Stella. It's wrong. Well, I never. The deal hasn't, you know, changed. Sword. I want sword. My sword. We're... I was very clear. I make trades for treasures. I think I'm all done here. You said you just wanted to display it. I thought I could still use it. Oh, no, honey, no. <laughs> you wanted to become my champion. You came to me, remember? In exchange, you got to live here instead of Beacon Town. Isn't that nice? Oh, no, was that supposed to be a secret? <laughs> oh, dear. Petra, sweetie. I... Uh... Well, I think it's about time I go back to my treasure hall, Jesse. By the way, way nicer than yours. Do you two know the way out? Oh, what am I saying? Of course Petra does. If you ever want a place in Champion City, just ask. <laughs> like I said, she's the worst. Not letting her get away with this. We're getting even. Hey, I'll just settle for getting my sword back. I just don't know how we're gonna do that. Stella's treasure room is right there. But I've got a bad feeling about those bodyguards of hers. Could probably sneak in through the puppy kennel, but that's a lot of barking puppies. There's got to be a way. <laughs> I think we can handle sneaking through some puppies. Let's stealth it up. Sounds good to me. <laughs> We're gonna need a distraction for those guards. Oh, that thing is so cute. Oh no. How are we gonna get through here with none of them barking? I've got it covered. Oh, easy puppies. See, you like bones, right? This is Stella's treasure room? Yeah. Trophy heads, gold pants, sponge blocks, a diamond hoe? Yep, all bought from other people. Half of them still have the name tags of other people on them. Okay, now I'm just getting mad. Being a hero and being cool is more than just having a room full of treasure. Especially treasure you got from other people. Not letting her keep mine, though. It must be in here somewhere. Listen, about what Stella said before, about being Champion City's hero in residence, it's really no big deal. It's, you know, nothing. But what about Beacon Town? It's your home. You can't just leave it behind. It's never felt like my home, though. Beacon Town is your place. Ugh! No matter what happens, no matter how much I do, you're the big hero! 
You probably don't even remember what it's like adventuring out there, scrounging for resources. Just look at today. We were supposed to go on one adventure, and you were late. I can't even get my friends to spend time with me. Do you know how it feels to show up for quest after quest and just hearing, oh man, I'm sorry, next time, next time? It gets embarrassing. <sighs> yeah, you're right. I mean, of course you're right. I know I haven't exactly been the best friend lately. No! Where'd it go? Where'd she put it? You're sure it was here? Right, it's Petra, armed with her mighty sword, Miss Butter. This is one of the greatest things I've ever seen. And by her side is her best friend, the greatest hero in the world, Jesse. Together, they can take on. Oh, hi! Hello! Uh, you, you should not be here. This, this is, um, uh, hmm, this is incredibly awkward. I gotta tell you, Stella, I'm actually a little flattered here. Didn't know you thought so highly of me. Uh, no, no, I, I was being sarcastic because I hate you. You can have your dumb sword back. Let's just pretend this whole thing never happened and I will let you go. I won't forget this, Jesse. History will remember this as an important day in our rivalry. That's right, the day I reclaim the upper hand. Curse you, Jesse! Classic rival. Rah! Feels so good to have you back. Thank you so much for your help. I know it got a little weird back there. I appreciate you still helping me anyway. Hey, it's all in the past, Petra. Just happy to reunite you with your favorite deadly weapon. Oh, and it feels so good. What is that? Stop that. Or those. Well, it's a lot of creepers. And they're charged? That should be impossible. Tell them that. Ah! Ugh, cheap sword. I got you covered, Jesse. So good to have you back. No, you don't! Oh, that would have been dumb if it wasn't so awesome! Oh, come on. We need to get this thing covered up again. how we're gonna get this to hold. That heck mouth blew right through the ground. First your prismarine gauntlet, then that prismarine pit spitting out creepers. We need to get to Jack's fast. Yeah, I hope this treasure hunter knows as much as you say he does. He does, he's gotta. Come on, I'll show you the way.
Welcome to Bad Luck Alley. Wow, I didn't even know people hung out down here at night. Well, yeah, it's the cool part. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, uh, you know, these are the people who like to live off the grid, outside the rules. And you're kind of the boss. It's just the way the world works. That's like the trade-off when you're in charge. You know that. Well, I really appreciate you showing me. I know this is like your thing or whatever, and it's nice of you to share. <laughs> you are such a cornball, but no problem. Should be somewhere down here, I think. Wait, have you never been here before? You said you knew a guy. Okay, not know him, know him, I know of him. Okay, fine. He's a legend, all right? He was once one of the greatest treasure hunters in the whole world. And he's kind of a hero of mine. What should I say? What should I do? I can't believe I'm about to meet Jack. But what if he invites me to go adventuring with him? I've, I've heard legends of how great he is. Well, if I can offer some advice, best thing to do around your heroes is just act like yourself. Otherwise, it's weird for everyone. Be myself. Got it? Got it. Jack and Nurm's Adventure Emporium. Yup, that's our place. Man, I've always wanted an excuse to come here. Peak Mountain, the ice crags of doom. It's just like I told you, Jack might be the best adventurer in town. This stuff is from all over the world. See, Petra, Beacon Town has some pretty cool stuff too, huh? Oh, uh, well, I mean, what's cool about all of this is that it isn't from Beacon Town, though. Uh, but you've got a good point. This is a, a big win for Beacon Town. <clears throat> Welcome to Jack and Nerm's Adventure Emporium. Oh my gosh, it's him. It's Jack. Sorry, I'm, uh, I'm a big fan. You push the button. Very. Very brave. Uh, thanks? I think? You're not being sarcastic, right? I don't make a habit of it. <sighs> the warriors of the Whispering Mountain call me the Stab Walker. The Air Titans of the East call me he who slashes like thunder. But you may call me Jack. So cool. So awesome to meet you. Love your shop. Of course it is, and of course you do. Pleasure to have you in today. So, what can I do for you today? Desert Temple? Woodland Mansion? Whoa! Yeah, that's what we're here about. <coughs> uh, wow, huh? Crazy glove you got there. Not that I've ever seen one before. Uh, looks real crazy, though. Crazy stuff. Found this way underground beneath Beacon Town. Thought you might be able to help us figure out where it came from. You did, huh? You can. Can't you? <sighs> Found it on top of a creepy bottomless pit, right? 
Spitting out monsters. Yeah, and it had a slot with, like, a weird symbol. <sighs> you should have never picked up that gauntlet. It's not for us mortals to tamper with. But it was whispering my name. And that made you want to pick it up more? That pit, it's as deadly as they come. And that symbol you saw was the symbol of the structure block. Legend says it was a mighty tool that could grow civilizations like seeds, create cities in the blink of an eye. You need one of those to close your pit. So where can I get one of these structure blocks? Petra thought maybe an ocean monument because of the prismarine? Oh, it's an ocean monument, all right. The villagers of Mushroom Archipelago call it the Sea Temple. Hmm. No, no. No problem. Guys, this is Nurm, my other half. He's the genius behind all of our fine maps. Nurm, this is Jesse and Petra. Hmm. Hi. Oh, hi. I was just about to tell these two that I can't help them. What? I love your early work. Witherstorm, old builders, awesome. But as a purveyor of fine maps and adventures, your death would be terrible for business. But... Sorry. I just can't. Hmm. Okay, so why don't you come with us then? You could, I don't know, protect us? Be our guide? No. Vowed I'd never go back there again. Let me show you something. It's like I said before. The world's a lot bigger than you think it is, Jesse. square is where we need to go. Yep. And it's missing because... I, uh... kind of burned it. I threw it into a volcano, okay? What? Why? You didn't need that kind of danger anyway, alright? I swore I wouldn't take anyone else to that temple ever again. I refuse to let it take any more lives. Hmm. <sighs> Shut up, Nurm. What? Oh, I see what's going on here. You're scared. No. I'm the one the Apex Hunters of the Sergeo Pass call Fearless Dagger. I don't do scared. I found a gauntlet just like that once. Teamed up with my friends Voss and Sammy to follow its trail. Neither of them made it out alive. Hence, uh, you know... Lava, map, volcano, you remember what I was saying, anyway. But burning the map couldn't erase the horrible memories. And thanks to the curse of my perfect sense of direction, I couldn't forget the location of that temple if I tried. So, if you're the only one who knows where it is... Yep, without me, you never get into that sea temple. That knowledge is my curse. Hmm. Heavy. Hmm. Oh, you have no idea. Jack, Jack, it sounds to me like it's your lucky day. Petra and I have a lot of great experience helping people get over their tragic backstories. We do? Yeah. Yeah, we'll tackle that temple together. You know what? You've inspired me. I mean, am I the Velvet Tornado or aren't I? You are, right? Yes. Then yeah, that's the spirit! Nerm, time to get our adventuring things. Mm. Jesse, 
It's perfect. Structure block? Sea temple? I know, it's amazing. It's almost too good to be true. Ah, yes! And Jack, man, he is awesome, right? Ah, I can't believe it! I'm going on an adventure with Jack. Eee! Let's just hope he's as good as he says he is. He's a little blustery, but I get a good vibe off him. I can't wait to see him in action. Nerm, I told you, it's not the admin. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, fine. What did he say? Nothing. Villager stuff. Nerm here wants to make a new map of this place. Uh, what with the uh, whole lava volcano incident. <laughs> Easy, Nermy. Don't blow a gasket. That's awesome, Nerm. Welcome aboard. Woohoo! He says, woohoo! Yeah, I figured that out. So that means we're off to the Sea Temple? Don't you think you're looking a little squishy for that? Seriously? I mean, you're wearing a vest. The vest of five fists? Gifted to me by the singing clerics of okay, Port. Okay, geez, I get it. It's a cool vest. Come on, I just need to make a quick pit stop and I can show you some real armor. Oh, Jesse, I'm so glad you're here. Hey, Radar. There is a lot going on. Someone still needs to finalize the ideas for the Founding Day banners. The cake baking team can't agree on what color to make the front of their shop. The Woolmakers Guild isn't super happy about their booth being next to the firework union. Understandable. The delegate from Boomtown left word that she wanted to make a speech at the parade. Very odd. Blue hair. Smells like sulfur. Speaking of which, you should probably work on your Founding Day keynote address. Oh, and rehearse it! Why didn't I factor in rehearsal time? Stupid, stupid! I'm sure I can shift a few things around, maybe push back your lunch with the followers of Soren. They're very strange anyway, they'll understand. Maybe. And did you know Lucas left another draft for you to look at? I said you'd try and give notes when possible, but not to get his hopes up. And then I left a general block of time for Founding Day-related disasters. I figured that would cover any of the various and sundry things that come up. Ah! Sorry, got in the zone there. Uh, what's up, boss? I see you brought friends? And a new accessory? Short version, the town's in danger. I stopped it for now, but I think this can help me fix it permanently. I'll be gone for a little bit. G gone? But, Jesse, what about Beacon Town? Founding day is right around the corner, and if it's really in, in, in danger, who will protect everyone? There's no telling what could happen! And I have so few details. I am very nervous about this. Why don't you try leading them, pal? What? Me? That's... this is... Try not to explode. Ah! Jesse, I won't let you down. I know you won't. Good luck, boss! Beacon Town will be waiting for you when you get back! Sure. Ha! Um, goodbye? Oh. <laughs> you said it. Can't believe that's your assistant. He's more wound up than a pack of parrots with a jukebox. Or a creeper in a herd of cats. Or a squid in a, I don't know, a box or something. Anyway, he's real nervous is what I'm saying. Yeah, he's pretty hyperactive. I wish I could get him to calm down. Maybe teach him to meditate, like the knights of the Shuje forest. So, where's this armor of yours? Oh, wow. You got some pretty cool stuff here. Stuff I've never, uh, probably only seen, you know, once or twice. Not as cool as my stuff, obviously, but uh, you're well on your way. Definitely on your way to becoming a big hero like me. Not as big, of course, but, uh, you know, a real, a real great swing. It's just like I always say, I couldn't have done it without my friends. Yeah, friends are the best. <laughs> Love having friends. Hey, wait, is this not where you keep your armor anymore? Yeah, I'm not seeing any armor. No, no, I just had Olivia install a little upgrade while she was here.
Adamantium Impervium. I always suspected this one was Ivor's favorite. I think he just liked saying the name. How cool is redstone-infused armor? Eligard was incredibly crafty. I wonder what sort of awesome redstone contraption she'd be making these days. Glimmering diamonds and shiny gold. Tim would have looked great in it if he was real. So much pomp for a guy who never actually existed. Non-existent guy's loss, my gain. Swordbreaker, nice classic name, awesome modern look. I think that one might just be my favorite. Seriously. Yeah, that one? Dragon's Bane, so cool. Oh, great name too. Color me impressed. I am. The Shield of Infinity. I love how regal this one looks. I feel like Ivor might have been running out of ideas when he named it though. The Star Shield, great set of armor. Yeah. Very sleek, very spacey. The Ender Defender, very fresh armor. Hmm, reminds me of the Puckjuck Slime Runners. Very tough cookies. Golden Goliath, always loved how shiny this one is. Yeah, just like the prideful warriors of the Shimmering Plains. So tough, they like to make sure their enemies can always see them coming. The Redstone Riot. Beautiful engineering on this one. I like the glowy bits. That's a <laughs> technical term. more like it. Agreed. Hey, uh, can you just give me and Jesse a minute? Huh? Oh. Listen, uh, with the heck mouth and everything, I feel like I didn't get to properly apologize for all the stuff with my sword, Champion City, so I'm sorry. You won't hear it again, so don't get used to it. I'll totally deny everything later. Yeah, I'm sorry too. I hate it when we fight. It's the worst. You know I'd do anything for you, right? I know. Okay, now with that sappy stuff out of the way, let's go find us a sea temple. Jack? Nerm, you guys ready to go? Always. So where are we going exactly? It's time to chart a course for Doom Sea. Oh, shut up, Nerm. It's an awesome name. Mournful blade in hand, and drove it right into the head of the Ikara zombie. I slept on an enormous pile of diamonds that night. Enormous? Oh, I can only imagine. <sighs> oh, yeah. 
Pretty typical day for me. You'll see. After this, I'll take you to this amazing woodland mansion I found. Yeah, let's make that happen. It's really far from here. I love it. It's almost certain death. I wouldn't have it any other way. What? It sounds awesome. Quit staring at me like that. All right. Before we go down there, I feel I should give you one last warning. The rules as you know them, how the world works, those don't always apply in this temple. Hey, mm. what? Some people believe it's because this temple was made by the admin. The what? <sighs> Supposedly he's some all-powerful ancient person. Built the world, I don't know. But the legend of the admin is just that. A legend. A story. Bunch of superstitious malarkey, frankly. I've been to the swamps of Funja and back, and that's still one of the more ridiculous things I've ever heard. So you think it's, what, made up? Hmm. One thing I do know, what you're gonna see in this temple, it'll stay with you. Uh, we used this island as our staging area last time we were here. How can you be so sure it's the same one? Uh, perfect internal compass. The... the sea temple is directly below us. It's like I can feel it. And what are we waiting for? Uh, that's the spirit. Picked up these enchanted helmets from the deep dwellers of Honbar Kavas. Time to suit up and roll out. Temples. That way. How... Compass. Right! Oh, that's so cool! Oh. <sighs> 
Now, if we're sure that we have all our limbs, how about we find that structure block? I forgot they did that. Okay, that's not normal. Pretty uh, impressive, right, Petra? If you look closely, carvings on this prismarine aren't like anywhere else in the world. Really? Yep, completely unique. No one's quite sure why. But you'll never have an experience like this ever again. Hmm? What did he say? He said, uh, he agrees. And that you're super lucky to be here with me. My brain can barely process them as statues, they're so big. Right? And what's up with their faces? They, they don't even look, you know, like people. I know, I hate them. Hmm. Uh, no, Nerm, there's nothing wrong with not people. Come on, jeez. Oh man, those things are creepy. I'm gonna need a sec, just to check my enchantments. Yeah, make sure they're all there. Okay. Well, I'm gonna scout ahead. <sighs> What's wrong? Yeah, uh, nothing, nothing. Must hit a patch of soul sand or something. Ooh, whoa, it's uh, got me. Like, um, uh, frozen in place. <clears throat> Uh, I'll be all right. I know it's pretty intense, but you don't have to be scared, Jack. But this is way harder than I thought it would be. Oh, boy. You're going to be okay. You're right. Thanks, Jesse. Guys, hey, I found something! Uh, be right there! Hey, uh, let's, uh, just keep this between you and me, huh, amigo? She's a fan. It's nice. Look, you have no idea how it feels to have everyone around you think you're some... has-been. I don't think Petra needs to hear about it. So, just hush on it. Just don't let it happen again, all right? <sighs> of course I won't. What kind of scrub do you think I am? I found the next door down there, but it needs that glove thingy of yours. What's keeping you guys? Uh, uh, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Let's check it out. Okay, that is cool. Sure. Let's see how cool you think it is when your life is on the line. Inches from the abyss. Ah. I know what I'm talking about, Nerm. Pretty, uh, pretty intense, though. I don't get it. It hasn't been particularly hard so far. Yeah, that's because we haven't been into any of the center rooms yet. was too close. Do you remember any of this, Jack? I... Uh, it's all a blur. It's a test, though, to see whether the adventurer is worthy of the structure block. Yeah. What are those things for? 
and it looks like it's made of glowing obsidian. Jack, is that, uh, dark prismarine? Or something like it. What are those things for? And it looks like it's made of glowing obsidian. Sponge is cool. It's like we saw at the entrance. Those are really good at soaking up water. All right, should be able to use those sponges to soak up the floating water the Guardians are in. Water floating in midair? That should be impossible. Well, if I know one thing, it's definitely not the admin. Oh, oh he won't listen to me anymore. Guys. Nice. Hmm. Yeah, but what if it is real? The admin, I mean. <sighs> Trapped down here with a bunch of soft-headed shulkers. Hmm. Well, I don't know about an admin, but I really, really don't like that floating water. All right, enough with the admin junk. You said you saw sponges to soak up that stupid floating water, right? Yeah. Right, so we're going to use the sponges on the floating water, dry it up, and that should take out the guardians. Dibs on that job. I think those stupid fish owe me. Okay, but someone's gonna need to run the other way and distract the Guardians, right? Buy you guys time? Wouldn't mind having some backup, whoever isn't doing the running. Okay, I'll run and keep the Guardians off your back. You and Jack do the sponges. Okay, everyone, let's get nuts. Ready! Ready! Then go! Hey, Laser Lips! What's it like being ugly and bad at your job? Ah. Oh, made it. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. No, no. Sammy. Jack? Jack? Jesse, we've got a jack problem. Yeah. Jesse, catch. Yeah. Oh. I'm I'm so sorry. Hmm. Oh. Jack? I didn't deserve our awesome cool guy handshake before. Oh. I'm really sorry, everyone. That pile of inventory there? That was my friend, Sammy. Jack. No, I don't need your pity. I don't... I don't deserve it. I need to be alone right now. Whatever is left of Voss must be somewhere down here, too. I don't know about you, but I want out of this room. Structure block's gotta be close. 